everyone, it's your girl Leslie and welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, it hasn't been that long to be honest. And yes, you might be wondering why my eyebrows are red. It's because I recently just finished cosplaying a character. Um, the video will be out soon. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looked badass. I'm gonna lie, this makeup, this whole look kind of looked like badass. Um, I use this shirt, just another the other side because uh, the character had a full yellow shirt. And I didn't have a full yellow shirt. I only had like a Calvin Klein shirt that my mom had. So I just flipped it over in that a yellow shirt. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be reading Ben X Reader, mm -hmm. and we're going to find out how evil her brother exactly is. We're going to see right now. Let's get straight into it. Now I know what's real and what is fake. Now I know what's real, what's fake. Alright y'all, we is in chapter 11. Let's get straight into this because I want to find out just as much as you guys do. Alright. Why would you... Alex's face was cold. His eyes narrowed. He took a step closer, crushing the remains of your cell phone under his boots. This isn't a game, YN. This is real. Stay away from me, he said, backing away slowly. Alex shook his head and walked over to the sofa. He had grabbed a round object and brought it into view. It was a roll of duct tape. Look. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way, he said, unraveling a foot of the tape and walk toward, walking towards you slowly. Panic set in and you ran for the front door. Alex, however, was much quicker and blocked your path, twisting your arms behind your back. You screamed and thrashed as he tied the tape around your wrist tightly. Let me go! Somebody help me! But your parents weren't home and there was no phone. It was really pointless. What are you planning to do? You demanded. The pain from the tape around your wrist made you hunch over as Alex grabbed you by your hair and dragged you towards the back door. Lucky for us, after all those years of isolation, I had discovered his secret. His voice dropped into an eerie low whisper. I know how to destroy him. Your eyes widened in fear and you struggled even harder. Ben, can you hear me? Help me! You screamed at the top of your lungs, hoping that somehow, somewhere, Ben could hear you. Alex grabbed and pulled something out of his leather pocket. It was a pistol. Wow, you really go that far? To even... That is so... That's, like, not even morally right. Like, what the fuck, bro? You would even... You would kill your own sister when you were, quote-unquote, trying to... Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I beat your ass. Girl, oh my lord, oh my lordy, oh my goodness. Now, now, we can't have you calling him. That would mess everything up. Quiet, please. He held the gun backwards and slammed it right behind your temple. Your vision went white and red, and you slumped to the floor. <sighs> Alex ripped off another piece of tape and covered your mouth with it. Just before you slipped out of consciousness, you heard him sigh. I'm sorry, but this is for the, your own good. You'll thank me later. I don't think I'll thank you ever for, for like, showing me in one. Pulling out a Glock 47 and taping me down. Oh, oh my lord. You be lucky that you, you, you even sleep with one, one eye open. And when I take, mm, I'll take that fucking eye, I swear. Whew. You awoke, uh, you awoke on cold concrete. Your head and eyes were sore and your throat felt like it was on fire. Adjusting your body, you noticed that the tape was over your mouth was gone. Your wrists and ankles, however, were tied tightly by duct tape. It was then that you noticed Alex was hovering over, hovering a few feet away from you. He was watching you with a happy expression, holding a great object in your, over your head. Recognize this? he asked. Your eyes adjusted and you saw a small gray cartridge in his hands. The words were Majora's Mask written in black sharpie marker. This is where he came from. His source. Destroy the object. Destroy the ghost. Destroy the ghost. So simple. 
He grinned and waved over the cartridge, teasingly over your face. You leave Ben alone. He's my friend. I won't let you do this. You know nothing about him. He cares about me. You groaned. His, your breathing was shallow. Is that so? Let's give him a call then. He stood and brought out... And, wow, bro. You broke her sinful, but yeah, you bring your own. Wow. Whoa, what a way to like keep him away. What, what smartness, you know? <laughs> wow. Brought out his cell phone from his back pocket. He typed something in, with on the keyboard and waited. I waited there. Floating in a binary code and elect electromagnetic waves. Wow. Astronomy? <laughs> I could leave when I pleased and walk out on the human world, but I remained here. Why, though? Wyden's view of me was something I hadn't anticipated. What was I to think of that? I resisted the urge to check up on her. She isn't a child. She could handle herself, but her brother? Her brother? He was another story. I didn't know what measures would take I'm giving in to my curiosity I went to look through the camera of Wyan's cell phone it was the way I kept track of her whereabouts that and GPS what surprised me that there was nothing nothing at all just blackness that didn't make any sense even if her phone was off I could still reach her the only way this was possible is she had somehow broken her phone which was unlikely after Meeting me, she carried her phone like a like a lifeline. Something was wrong. I materialized in Wine's living room. It was dark. I brought a green glow. I created a green glow, a bright green green glow in the room, and searched for her. That's when I noticed the drag marks on the carpet and the blood. The phone lines were cut. The Wi-Fi was gone, and the TVs and computers were all dead. I searched in my mind for the nearest source to her and found Alex's phone. That's when I saw the message. Just type just for me to see. Hello, Ben. If you're able to read this, you know where to find me. I projected myself through his phone by, by force. His screen turned green, and I could hear his voice echoing through the speakers. Alex smiled down at the camera as if he knew I was there. He glanced down at someone below the camera and raised an eyebrow. Looks like your friend is on the phone. Want to say hi? Wyan, she was there with him. Then <laughs> please, I heard her cry. If I had blood, it would be boiling. How about electricity? Electricity would be bouncing. <laughs> you, you're one crazy bastard. You know that? I growled. Alex laughed and turned the camera to face Wyan. Her wrists and ankles were tied and her eyes were bloodshot. We're playing by the, my rules now. Try anything funny? And I'll kill her. What? You would kill your own sister? Ah! You would kill your own sister? You asshole! I hope you drown in lava, bro. I hope you burn. I hope you die on the sun. I hope you die in the farthest star that's the most hottest, more bigger, and the hottest thing in the, in the whole universe. I hope you burn on that. Oh my goodness. At the same time, I hope you eat your wor least favorite food mixed with worms. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> Reader's point of view. Alex's words scared you. Was he trying to accomplish something by all this? He kneeled down and pressed the pist pistol against your skull. You froze and tried not to scream. Look, I'm just trying to protect my little sister. Wow, killing her. Wow, that's the best way to protect her. I'll kill my sister. The best way, bro. Oh my goodness. A few moments later, a green glow filled the room. Ben materialized a few yards away and spotted you lying on the ground with a gun to your head. He remained de deathly still, his eyes flicking between you, the gun, and Alex. Interesting, you know. This is my first time ever physically meeting you. Alex said, pressing the gun closer to your skull when he noticed Ben finally taking a step forward. You don't have to do this, Ben said. Alex chuckled. You know, the pleading innocent bullshit isn't going to work on me. You may have brainwashed my sister, but it's not happening with me. He didn't brainwash me, Alex. I You yelped when Alex suddenly grabbed your hair and pressed a gun under your chin. Shut up. He, glared, he glanced up at Ben and smirked, pulling the cartridge from his pocket and held up. Held, oh my God. Held it up for Ben to see, then placed it on the ground. Hmm. 
I wonder what will happen if I just... In one swift move, he grabbed... Move. He gra he slammed the back of the gun to the cartridge, smashing it into pieces. Oops. He said, shrugging. No! He screamed. Ben's, reac Ben's reaction was immediate. He fell to his knees and held his head in his hands. What have you done? He screeched, his eyes glowing a fury red. I'm sending you to where you belong. Alex said, but what happened next surprised you. Ben suddenly froze and looked at Alex with the most puzzled expression you had ever seen. Sorry, what? He asked. Why isn't it working? You're supposed to be gone. I shattered your cartridge. Alex stammered, eyes wide. Eyes wide. Ben's face deadpanned. No, you idiot. That was a copy of the game, which, by the way, are nearly impossible to make. Did you actually think I'd give you the real cartridge? He asked, glaring at Alex <laughs> incredibly. <laughs> Your heart was filled with relief. Ben walked over to you and quickly ripped off the tape. He picked you off, off the ground and moved away from your brother. What? Alex whispered, too stunned to move. It's not rocket science, Alex, Ben said. In order to control the world, one needs to... One needs multiple angles of attack. The card is that you got from the old man was a duplicate of the game. So you can't kill me by destroying it. This? He took off his green hat and reached inside and pulled out another gray cartridge. This one held the original logo to on the front. Is the real game. With that, he crushed the cartridge in his hand, letting the broken pieces fall to the floor. What? Ah! Chapter 12. You watched in shock as the broken gray pieces hit to the floor like rain. You quickly ran to him, grabbing a hold of his shoulders. But what? Ben simply moved you to the side and smiled down at Alex. You aren't sure why, but something about Ben's aura seemed off. Stupid human. Did you really think I could be killed? Stay away from my sister, Alex growled. Wyan is mine, Ben said simply. Alex's face contoured <laughs> contoured he put contour in his face contoured angrily you don't belong in this world you should have died all those years ago when you drowned you goddamn abomination that was the last straw for ben he took a step forwards towards alex fist fist clenched it's really simple actually my little games with you and your sister were merely to pass the time but now i think it's time to fulfill my original plans original plans Ben's eyes, Ben's eye color intensifies as it became harder to look at. His smile quickly morphed into something more sinister, making this entire world mine. Ben's words scared you. In an instant, you could feel your body grow heavy. The air turned frigid, and an anonymous shadow began surrounding him. The sight was terrifying. You ran over to cover behind an old rusted barrel as waves of energy emitted from him and his feet rose from the ground. Alex cowered where he was. What's happening? You asked. Ben simply looked, over, looked at you over his shoulder and grinned madly. It's the dawn of the final day, Wyan. This wasn't right. This wasn't the Ben you knew. Ben turned away from you and maneuvered his way outside, and you quickly followed behind. What you saw was terrifying. Yes, everything's terrifying, dear. The sky had turned a ghastly purple color. The stars were covered by fog, and high in the sky there was something huge suspended in midair. In mid something you remembered from the game your brother had played all those years ago. You recognized its face. It was when you realized what he was doing. Ben, you have to stop! You tried to get closer to him, but with each step you took, it felt like you were being pushed back. Ben turned to you and frowned. His once bright red eyes has faded into black. You've seen the way humans are, Wyan. You've seen what they did to me and they, what, they <laughs> what they tried to do to you. It's time to make them pay for it. You notice the tree surrounding the warehouse began to be pulled up from the roots. Everything in front of you went bad, from bad to worse. You can't make an entire planet pay from the, for the crimes of a few people, you yelled. Ben's expression was cold. Don't try to stop me. His, he raised his arms towards the moon, and he lowered them as the moon followed. Oh, God, 
He was going to crash it. Then how the hell is he going to save you? You know what? No questions. No questions! Alex ran outside and saw the chaos. He backed away up against the wall and stared wide-eyed. The wind kicked up and blew gravel and dirt everywhere. He squinted and looked for cover. And, but you have to stop Ben. He was going to destroy. He was going to destroy everything. You slowly took. You slowly took steps towards him. You could feel the energy around him was shoving you back, but you fought it. Ben didn't notice you behind him. Your skin felt like it was burning and your eyes stung, but you had to reach for him. There was no other way. As the moon grew closer, which each step was like quicksand, but if it landed, countless numbers of people would die. Well, everyone would die, sweetheart. Everyone. Because then it would whack the, the earth out of orbit and a lot more shit would happen. And the atmosphere would also have problems. But if it landed, yeah. You know he was being blinded by anger. Maybe you could reach him. What was reaching him? You know, whatever. You were almost close enough to touch him. He was so focused on the destruction. He barely noticed when you wrapped your arms around his waist. You knew he couldn't feel, but he could see and hear. Ben, stop! You called over the chaotic noise. He clenched his jaw in frustration, but held his arms where they were. I told you to stay away, he said. I, you clung on to him desperately. I can't. I can't let you do this. Please. Ben lowered one of his hands to try and pry your arms away. Just let go already, Wyan. Never. Tightening your, you yelled, tightening your grip. What about our promise? You said you wanted to see the world. Me, you, together. And now you're going to destroy it all? Ben re released your hands. The Ben you knew is dead. Stop trying to fight for something that no longer exists. He snapped. His words stabbed you. How could he say that? After everything he'd done. Everything he hid from you. Everything you saw. You could see the tears forming in your eyes. He was lying to you. And he's lying to himself. He was lying to himself. You're wrong. He's alive right here in front of me. Your words must have reached him. Even if it was just a small amount. His movements hesitated. And he took his arms away. The moon froze in place. He seemed frustrated. Don't be stupid, Wyan. This is pointless. He yelled, continued in a wiggle away. F yeah, wiggle away from you. Stop fighting me. Why do you keep holding on? You turn. He turned towards you and pushed you away by your shoulders, but you weren't gonna let go. You knew why you kept holding on. Ben was my best friend. I love him, and I won't let you. I won't let you take him away from me. Ben froze. Wyan. You stood and held your, his face in your hands. I still love him, so please, stop this. His his eye color returned to a bright green, bright red. He, he lowered himself to the ground, and the dark aura around him began to fade. Why and I... A gunshot rang out from, from somewhere. The chaos stopped completely, and everything went deadly silent. Time seemed to slow down as your eyes drifted down to the blood so soaking your hoodie. You knew Alex had shot the bullet that was now in your chest. Ben stared in shock, not quite believing what had just happened. Your face was re was calm even though you were trembling from the shock. You clutched onto his, onto his tunic as your legs buckled. Ben quickly caught you and held you up. In the distance, you caught, I, <laughs> you, you caught <laughs> your eyes caught Alex's. The gun was still held in his shaking hands. The look of his, in his eyes told you it was an accident that the bullet hit you. You saw him raise the gun to his head and you quickly closed your eyes and turned away as another shot rang out. You heard his body slump to the ground. Alex, you whimpered. Ben's hand on your, Ben's hand on your face grabbed your attention. You turned to him and your heart sank as his grief stricken a grief-stricken impression expression his arms held you tightly as his bangs fell over his eyes you could feel something wet land on your cheek it was a tear why oh, oh god what have i done his voice was broken tears began streaming down his face you never knew he could cry 
sorry y'all uh, um thing but damn that that's that's hella sad oh my lord let's continue chapter 13 this is all my fault he whispered the bullet had just missed your heart but the blood pouring on the ground meant a dead end for you you didn't know where the nearest hospital was heck you didn't even know where you were by the time you got there you would die from blood loss the shock from the wound began to, to turn turning to pain but this was for the best, right? This is what you have asked for. And it's okay. At least you stopped. I, I didn't want you to do anything you would regret here. You touched your wound and the blood smeared on your fingers. Blood smeared and blood smeared on your fingers. You hold it up to him. Now you can be free. Ben's expression hardened. He pushed your hand away. Don't be stupid, Wyanna. There's no way I can accept that. Not after what I've done to you. Your heart... Stank. What was he saying? But, but you, <laughs> you don't understand. This would make him free. It's what he's always wanted. I don't need it anymore. It's not important. To listen. No, you listen. He quickly said, "Shut up and listen to me." I loved that boy from all those years ago, and I still do. I loved his stupid face and the way he smiled at me and the way he said my name. That will never change. You are Ben, and I love you. I love you. You idiot. Why Ben whispered, your you could no longer speak. Your vision finally faded, and your world slipped into darkness. Oh Lordy <laughs> Ben's point of view. Her eyes fluttered shut and her hand fell. She couldn't be dead. She, she couldn't be Why in? I shook her arm. Hey. No response. I listened to her chest. No breathing. I checked her pulse. Sorry, y'all. Got interrupted yet again. I'm so sorry for that. Hold on. <laughs> no more interruptions. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Anyways. I checked her pulse. No heartbeat. I felt my heart sink in my chest. My hands shook. This was my fault. This was all my fault. No. Why, and please don't leave me. I gasped. Pulling her cold body closer to mine. Without her, there was nothing left. No one else who cared about me. I loved her. I couldn't... I shouldn't have waited until it was too late. I waited until it was too late to tell her I love her. And now, no matter how loud I shout and cry, she'll never hear me. I didn't expect her to return the feelings. I was a monster who subjected her to years of misery. Her brother was right. I was an abomination... Who should have died in that lake? But yet, she said those words. It begins to rain. I stand with wine cradles in my arms, carrying her back inside the warehouse. Then I hear a delicate clink behind me, like glass. I turn and spot more orcana on the floor. It must have fallen out of my pocket where I stood. Heal her. A voice in my ear, in my head whispers to me you can still help her i look down at yn then back at the instrument then it hits me the song i placed her gently on the ground before turning to the orca orcana i reached down and picked it up grazing my fingers over the shiny blue gloss i knew what i had to do it, it was so simple i kneel next to yn's body planting a chest kiss on her forehead this is the way it should be Love is sacrifice. My life for hers. Oh my lordy lord. Oh lordy. That. This whole thing was just. Intense. Jesus Christ. Back to me. Oh my lordy. That was. So intense. My lord. Like, that was intense. Like, damn. I was, my voice was like quivering because I recently ate a pastelillo. Um, those are super good. Ugh. I ate like four. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> but anywho, um, yeah, this, this it's, it's very intense. Um, I feel really bad for her. 
And the brother was kind of an asshole because he's like, wait, I don't want you to die. Okay, I'm going to kill her. And then, oh, no, I, I shot you. I shall kill it myself. And, um, yeah, that it, it's very confusing and very, uh, just like, what the fuck at the same time, you know? Um, yeah. Let me know you, let me know what you guys think might happen. Obviously, we have some pretty big hints of what it was going to happen. Um, but let me know. We are literally like two chapters and we're done. My goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, what? I shall save my excitement for later. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos, guys. Don't mind my messy room. I, it's been quite a week. Um, finals start tomorrow. And I had a concert yesterday, and I literally could not get off my bed. Um, I asked my mom if we can stay home because, like, I just do not, I, I couldn't keep myself awake. So, that's how bad it was. Um, it was because right after the concert, we had, we had to do some stuff. Right from Oklahoma City. It, it was complicated. And, um, yeah, we ended up staying home because how tired we both were. Uh, thankfully, finals are on Thursday and Friday, now I'm starting on Wednesday, so thank goodness, I think I saved my own ass there. Um, so wish me luck on my finals, uh, I might be posting some of the cosplay stuff up really soon, I'm not sure, cause I kinda like it, kinda don't at the same time, but then again, we don't need to complain, people, and sadly this might be the last cosplay for 2021. Not for the whole United States, not just for this year. It might be because I'm gonna go to Oklahoma. I'm mean, not Oklahoma. I'm gonna go to Texas soon, so I'm excited <laughs> to celebrate Christmas with my grandpa and my family. It's gonna be awesome. I'm still gonna try and upload some videos and all that there. I shall keep in touch as best as I can. Can't guarantee it's gonna be full like videos. You're gonna see my face all the time, but I can guarantee that I will make at least a couple videos for you guys. All right. But for now, Leslie's got to go, all right? Bye and peace. Wait, before I go, I forgot to mention this. I'm going to get my braces taken out very soon, like literally next year on 2022 on January 10th. I'm so excited. Uh, I forgot to mention this. You won't see me saying these bad boys anymore anytime soon after, after January 10th. Bruh, it's going to look... So pretty. Oh my gosh. I just want to let you guys know. That's what I'm super excited about. And you're going to see my glasses soon. Okay. With all that at the table, now I'm free to go. Bye!